this election has broken a lot of people. Ever since Trump was announced the winner of the 2024 election to become the 47th president of the United States, we've had the media meltdown. We've had um, late night talk show hosts meltdown. We've had comedians meltdown. We've had ordinary people meltdown. All in plain view, all on the internet for everyone to see. Well, this leads me to this post over on X that uh, yeah, this guy's broken. That's all I got to say. So Joe Laron, who just happens to work for Lucasfilm, i.e. Disney, put this out there. And people, if you haven't figured it out by now, when you do this type of shit, people will screenshot it, keep it, because the internet is forever. I realize that when I'm posting video and posting content. I realize the internet is forever. So here we go. Joe Laron. Fuck this disgusting scrotum skin sack and all who support him. That, that was the post in reply to uh, Republicans vote, Republican voters against da 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 where Trump said, I have a piece of glass here, but all we have really over here is the fake news. And to get me, somebody would have to shoot through the fake news, and I don't mind that so much. I don't mind that. And that prompted this response from Joe Laron. Well, <laughs> Joe, unfortunately for you, um... Gina Carano saw what you posted. And she posted this reply. You work for Lucasfilm and Disney, right? And you're literally saying, fuck, 71 million Americans, correct? Got it. Now, the reason why I bring this up is the fact that Joe must have forgot about this little lawsuit that Gina has going on against Disney right now. In fact, some of you may remember, some of you may not remember, some people probably don't even know that um, Disney tried to have this lawsuit dismissed and Disney went to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals to try to delay discovery while it was in appeal. And the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals went, nah, I don't think so. So Disney, who's not doing too well in court right now, probably not doing too well in the stock market either, um, now has some dumbass go out there and post this, which... <laughs> <laughs> just keep doing it people keep doing it people keep doing it you folks that work at Disney keep throwing that fuel onto the fire because I'm sure this has already made it to Gina's lawyers now this all goes or this all centers around you know Gina's lawsuit against Disney for a post that she made on Instagram and when she didn't bend the knee to the to the activists out there and simply stated beep bop boop for her pronouns that was the final straw we have to fire Gina Carano because she's not complying well since then uh, we've got the lawsuit and we got these people at Disney that just keep putting this stuff out there, helping her case. You know, Pedro Pascal, at the time, put out this. And he was never fired from Disney and Lucasfilm. So, I don't know, guys. Um, what do you think? I mean, I... Oh, oh, one, one last thing here. Joe Laron has since, um, I don't know if he deleted 
his post or if he you're unable to view this post because it's account owner limits who can okay so he protected his post is what he did so because he was getting flamed i mean clay travis didn't disney fire you for way less than this and clifton duncan who's 100 percent right here says they feel comfortable publicly publicly saying shit like this because they know they won't get fired or blacklisted for it then they wonder why the audience is turning their backs on them. Need an Infinity says it's never a smart move for someone in the industry, especially a franchise as big as Star Wars, to announce they hate their audience. It's also hilarious because he proves your points. And and then he then then he decides to uh, protect his post because he was getting just lambasted in the comments so there you go tell me what you guys think comment down below i think i think the, these these people just can't shut up i guess they don't care if um you know what happens to their parent company that being disney i mean again this is just more fuel Fuel for the fire. Just keep putting these statements out there. Let Gina grab them and send them to her attorneys. Just going to make her case that much stronger. So there you go. Comment down below. If you would, please take the time to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing, like the things I'm covering. Uh, hit that subscribe button. So, um, you know, I don't know why I haven't subscribed yet. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that... I will see you guys.